Hi there, it's Ben Hassel here today and in this video we're going to be opening up uh, the Blu-ray player. So I'm doing some projects where I'm selling direct to clients for some event videography and I want to be able to sell them Blu-rays on the day that I mail to them. I don't want to deal with any online hosting or anything like that so I decided to move a project that I've got involved with from DVD to Blu-ray um, and so I bought this Blu-ray burner and so we're just going to open it up and uh, check it out and then I'll do a later video in which tests it out in Final Cut Pro. So let's unwrap the first step of this. We'll get the Canada Post wrapping off, so we don't need that. And so now we have our Pioneer Blu-ray burner for burning BDXL. I can't remember the price of this that I got this for, but I'll post it down in the links below. So let's get the, the camera on this and we're going to do my first unboxing. So let's have a little look. Okay, so we've got the Blu-ray burner, the BDR-XD05B, um, which works with Windows, Mac. Um, it's going to burn Blu-rays and dual-layer BDXL Blu-rays as well. So we um, should be able to fit a few hours or more of footage onto these. Certainly a couple of hours on the Blu-ray disc, and it's auto-quiet, which is cool. It's USB 3, it's ultra-lightweight. I have heard that it takes a long time to burn a Blu-ray disc on here but that's okay. Having a look on the back, we can see the drive features, um, works with USB 3 or USB 2. It feels like it's got a bit of weight to it, but once I put it unboxed, I'll know whether it's uh, really nice or light or not. And you can see here, I've got some Windows software. So there's no DVD burning software for the Mac in here as well. So that's pretty much all the information that we've got on here. Oh, we've got uh, a bit more information about the amount of memory you required to actually burn the Blu-ray disc, which is two gigabytes for Blu-ray playback and three gigabytes for editing HD video. So I'm guessing these pieces of software, the Power Director is gonna allow you to edit your videos as well. So if you're working on the Mac, then I believe iMovie will burn Blu-ray discs as well. So you can burn from there. And certainly Final Cut Pro 10 will burn Blu-ray discs as well. So you're fine with that. We've also got a couple of things about the processor. Um, so it needs to be an Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.66 gigahertz processor at the minimum and it also needs to be running Mac OS X 10.6 or later to work with the, the Blu-ray disc. For Windows it needs to be 8.1, uh, 7 or XP Service Pack 3. So most recent computers will, will run this okay without any problems and you obviously need a display that's going to play back Blu-ray quality if you want to play back Blu-ray qualities. So a lot of laptops won't be playing back 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution for Blu-ray, but um, you can still play it back as long as you've got a graphics card that will work with that. And the other thing as well is it will burn DVDs as well. So we can burn the Blu-ray single layer and double layer um, at six times speed, and the, then also DVDs and CDs slightly faster as well. So we've got a lot of compatibility or backwards compatibility. So we'll dive in here and open this bad boy up. So we've got some foam in here. Okay, and slides out pretty nicely. The box to the side there. In here we've got the software on a disc. So a little bit of tape here, so I'm going to carefully open this bit up. And first thing we come to is the software. So we've got the media suite, which includes the Power DVD, the Instant Burn, label print as well so you've got a label printing software on here as well and the power to go eight i'm not sure what that is photo director so obviously for burning photos um, with the drive and then the power director 10le which from what i saw is the video editor so you get a good decent amount of software um obviously only for the pc on that disc and then we have a thank you note so we don't need to read that and then we have a warranty which is one year um, so hopefully it works for more than a year. And then we have a little manual in here as well. Now I tend to skip through these pretty quickly, but there's some information here about the fact that it's a laser. Don't open it up and shine it in your eyes. And then also some other safety instructions and stuff like that. And then we've got some information about how you turn it on, how you turn it off, and the top and bottom view of the DVD, how we connect it to our laptop. Okay, so basically there's two USB cables coming out of this. So if we have a look at this cable here, and this is for the charge to the drive. So basically the, the burner requires a bit more power than it can get from one DVD. So we have a USB 3 cable, but we also have this split 
uh, USB at one end, which is basically for, for giving your Blu-ray burner a little bit more power as you're burning it. So you can see we've got that cable here. Okay, so cables are all there, and it says something about this. Yeah, so you're going to get limited performance when you burn from USB 2, so probably a slower burn speed because the data transfer is a lot slower on USB 2. And there's information about connection and operation, so it looks like this is worth a read through before just plugging it in and playing, which would be my tendency. There's information about the specs, um, so what speed uh, things are going to burn at. We're sticking to something here. What speed things are going to burn at, and then also the physical information about that. Okay, and then we've got it in some other language. We've got it in some French and also Spanish. So we've got it in three languages in here. So you've got all the information you need in English, French, and Spanish, which is normal for North America. And if we now open this up, we've got our little Blu ray burner, which does have a little bit of weight to it, so it feels reasonably heavy, kind of like a large coffee mug uh, weight or something like that without the coffee in it um, and slips open nicely and if we press the open button here it's not releasing I'm guessing that's because there's no power to it and then we've just got one two ports in the back one for the USB 3 connection and then also a DC in uh, port as well if we wanted to add um, power into that, 5 volt power into that. So that's pretty much it. Um, we've got a little bit of information which is standard on the back of laser products. So it's telling you that lasers can produce radiation. Um, it's nice and neat. It looks like it'll fit in a backpack um, pretty nice and neatly. If you want to carry it around, you're doing jobs on the run and you need to burn Blu-ray discs, then this is a, a nice kind of neat solution. So we're going to go ahead in another video and have a look at how, the, how well this burns. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the the kind of look and feel of that, I think it'll look nice. So this is pretty much what you get um, in your box here. The Blu-ray burner, um, some polystyrene, which you don't need, some plastic, and everything you really need to burn high quality Blu-ray DVDs on your Mac or on your PC. I hope this video has been useful for you. Um, if you'd like to leave any comments, I'd love to hear them. I look forward to seeing you on my next Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and perhaps some more unboxing tutorials in the future.